Okay, day four. Uh, I think it is, something like that. I've just got as far as Lauzer, I mean, taken a completely wrong turn, not being able to work the road properly. Um, and to be honest, it just sort of clouded over and looked like it was going to storm, so I dived in to do waterproofing type things. And uh, it stopped raining, sun came out. So I've waterproofed some of the stuff and we'll see where we are. I'm either going to go up into Lauzer or I'm not, but I'll definitely shoot some photos and some things. Today's objective, Wazak. On we go. Right, well, for whatever reason, I'm having a right battle with the Wahoo Roam. It's decided it doesn't like the way I'm going. I keep stopping, checking Google Maps. I have no clue. The thing is, I'm out of the areas that I actually know myself now. Here we are descending down from Lozert um, and hopefully <laughs> hopefully heading towards Mozak. I'll uh, I'll update you when I've been halfway around France. It's not bad for touring. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but that on the hillside in the end after I've post-processed it a bit, is lows out. I've worked out this genius strategy. When you've got to get off the bike climbing up a hill, whip a camera out so you're not so embarrassed when the cars go past you and look at you laughing. Anyway, here we go, first hill walk of the day. Not even going to attempt to speak. It's a bloody long way up here. Cathedral and Cloisters at Moisac. I'm going to go get my thing signed, stamped, whatever. I thought I'd do an update before I start today's ride. I've spent a day or so and a day and a half in Wazak. Been around the cathedral, the cloisters, all of that good stuff. Um, we had a massive, massive, massive storm yesterday, which meant essentially that I didn't ride anywhere at all. So I'm going to push on today, try and get up to past Ovala towards uh, Miradu that way. We'll see how far I get. Um, I need to get back home now for some clients coming on and then I'm going to come back and continue basically. Um, the route this morning out in Wazak takes me up a Bois Vert, one of the cycle lanes, the improved cycle lanes, which is following the uh, canal side, the old towpath stuff along the canal. So that should be interesting, I quite like those things. Okay, well let's get on with it then. Hope you're enjoying it. And this is the promised Bois Vert, so far anyway. We'll see if it turns into a gravel towpath. Well, this is very pleasant, much nicer than the Nassi Nile Road. I'm already passing pilgrims on here, so I've clearly got the right route for once. Mm. 
How cool is this? This is the Vela Route de Deux Mer. Starts on the Atlantic up on the Garonne, that area, and follows the Canal Towpath right the way down through Moisac down to Castle Sarazan. I uh, think it goes to Toulouse and then down through on the Canal du Midi through uh, Carcassonne. Finishes up somewhere around about Agde set area. Kicks you out onto the Mediterranean. This might be worth a thought at some point. I love France. Right, well, just a quick stop really. Um, it's a fairly short ride today, so uh, I've got plenty of time really. Because if I get much further away, the wife's got to come and get me because I need to get back. Firstly, this track, um, it's the first time I've ever ridden one of these things. I've, I, that's not true, there's one at Sarlat that I've ridden, but this thing. It looks smooth tarmac, it's sort of not, if I'm honest. It's pretty bumpy, you can feel it on hands already in 10 15k in. But, and I don't think it's paved after Toulouse, between Toulouse and um, Carcassonne. I think after the, I think down to there, but they are doing it. And it would make a great ride. I'm going to go home and research this. Um, what else have I got to say about this whole thing? As I say, yesterday, massive, massive, massive storm. So I actually ended up with a day off, which wasn't the intention. The, the, the idea of this, because I've never done it, was to... I know I can ride the distance I'm riding on a day. That I know I can do. But I don't know if I can do it day after day after day after day. So that with gear on the bike as well. I mean, actually, the bike's pretty light today and I'm loving it. Um, but I've I brought minimal stuff. I've used a tail fin pack, which I have to say is damn expensive, but bloody excellent thing. Really good bit of gear, that thing. Um, yeah, so I've ridden, what have I done? I, I don't know. I've ridden every day, apart from yesterday, four or five days now. Um, you couldn't really couldn't stand up yesterday, never mind ride. It was, I mean, if you look at this track, you'll see the still see the bits of branches and trees and things that fell down. Um, so, what have I learned? Well, I've learned if I manage myself, I'd make it achievable and I can do it. I get slower, but then again, I'm not bloody Chris Froome either. So, um, I have enjoyed it. I'm really, really, really looking forward to getting rid of the clients and continuing it, if I'm honest. I'm just at that point where you get start getting the rhythm, but in real life in the, in the, in the, in the intervenes. Um, I hope somebody's watching it, and if anybody wants any info on it, you know, you're more than welcome. I've met some nice people already, and it's it's a good trip. It's something to do, you know, something positive. Okay, onwards and uh, well, that way. Cheers. Me off the towpath, um, jumps you up to a little village, and that is the river continuing on. I've got to climb up there somewhere. It's a pretty steep climb, but I'm sort of less worried about it now, having done a bit of it. There we go, must be going the right way. Right, well we're going up there. That is Ovalar. Oh, see the boat? There you go, it's just short of 5%. Some of it and some of it goes over. Which, when gravity likes you as much as it likes me, oh, just got this little bit to do, and I think there might be a beer. <laughs> 